The first one is doing while others are not doing. And I'm going to use the ibadat, the acts of worship that are very familiar to us. Prayer. Prayer. The Prophet ﷺ specifically said, Sallu bilayli wa nasuniya. Pray at night while other people sleep. It's expected that people are going to pray five times a day. But when everybody else is sleeping, you have an opportunity to wake up and to pray and to distinguish yourself. And subhanAllah, you can imagine that at one point on the face of this earth, there were three people that were praying Qiyamul Layl. The Prophet وسلم, his wife Khadija radiallahu anha, and then his son-in-law Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anha. This is a famous narration. At one point on earth, imagine the angels going around at night looking for the people praying Qiyam. There is only one household in the entire world that was reading the Qur'an at night. But now that it's all available to us, who are the people that wake up and pray while other people sleep? Who are the people that give when other people withhold, right? So there are moments of charity, avenues, where people will give of their time, give of their wealth, while other people withhold. And so they shine in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they literally, I mean, if you, if you think about good deeds lighting up a room, there are people there that shine, right? As those that stand out from the rest and what they're willing to give of their volunteerism, of what they're willing to do in terms of their time and their wealth, right? Because when Adam alayhi salam, as the scholars mentioned, looked at his children, there were lights that were shining. One of them being the Prophet David, Dawood He was a shining light, shimmering in the darkness. So your time to shine is giving when other people withhold. Your time to shine is fasting when other people don't traditionally fast. And SubhanAllah, you'll find a connection with all three of these things. The Prophet ﷺ mentioning the angels celebrating the household where someone is awake at night while other people are sleeping. The angels even calling from the gates of heaven to the one that is giving saying, Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa, O oh Allah, give to the one who gave. And he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in another narration of Tirmidhi, that when someone fasts while other people are eating around them, this is not talking about Ramadan per se, right? Usually this is talking about a voluntary fast. When someone fasts while other people around them are eating, the angels keep on praying on that person until they finish their food. So they're getting their share of nutrition, you're getting your share of prayers from the angels upon you. Why? Because you're shining in that place. You're the one person that's fasting there. And the angels recognize that and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the angels to give that a special recognition. So that's doing while other people are not doing. The second one is doing what isn't expected of you in your circumstances. So giving wa takhshal faqr. You give even when you fear poverty, the Prophet ﷺ said. It's so beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You forgive even when you're not expected to forgive. You pull back from an argument even when you have every right to go, get into an argument. Taraka al mira'a wa in kana muhiqqan. It's all right, let it go. You do what's not expected of you in your circumstances. Allah Azza wa Jal looks at that and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Wallahu yuhibbu al muhsineen. Allah loves those people, right? They do even what's not expected of them, so they shine there. No one expected you to give at that point. No one expected you to forgive. No one expected you to exert yourself. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw what you did there. The third thing is doing more of what others are doing. So this is a quantitative element of shining. Everybody's doing the same thing, but some people are doing more of it. Okay? So when it comes to prayer, there are nawafil. There are voluntary prayers. The gate of salah to paradise, the gate of prayer to paradise, is not meant for those who pray five times a day, you know, particularly. It's for those who add to that, right? They do more of it. 